New Year's Eve, my horse had a strangulating white pole, which is it's a fatty tumor that grows off the wall in the, intestine, in the middle of their belly, and it wrapped around his small intestine and closed it. So he was dead without surgery. So I rushed him to a hospital, luckily, and they performed the surgery. They took five feet of his small intestine, and the surgery was successful. But the problem that he had was postoperatively, he had trouble getting that new resect to work. So the large intestine was working, the beginning part of the small intestine was working, but when he got to that spot, that surgical spot, it wasn't working. And I called Donna, who thankfully took my call, and she told me what to do. And they have a great app, so there's a Photonics app, and I have it on my phone. And she told me which meridians to do and which points to do. And I went in there and I did them. And the doctor, we got to a point where the surgeon wanted to take him back to surgery. <laughs> which when you take a horse back to a clock surgery there's a 50% less chance of survival in the second surgery. So it was really, I was really scared. I wanted to avoid surgery at all costs. And I went in there and I did the points that Donna told me to do. And within two and a half hours, his small intestines started working. And they measure it. Yes, yes. They measure it through his reflux, right? So every two hours, they go in and they, they tube him and they measure how much comes out. And he was doing eight liters and he needed to do two and he went down to two. And the vet was like, unbelievable. <laughs> so he avoided the second surgery. He was discharged three days after that. And I used both the pro and the standard light, and I used it on his incision every day. And the vet has since become a friend of mine. And she came to the farm a couple weeks ago, and she reaches under to feel his belly, and she goes, where's the scar? No scar, not one hernia. Not one post-operative colic. We're nine months later. Wow. wow, that's impressive. So, that's why I'm standing here <laughs> saying these lights saved his life. So my colt, who I had just rescued from McKilpen in Texas, um, was three months old, uh, three to six months old when I rescued him. And my paint was being a little aggressive with him, knocked him over. And at this point, he was about uh, nine months old. And he fell, hit the ground, hit his head very hard on the clay surface and broke a stylohyoid. Um, I had all the vets come out, they thought I might need to put him down because they have never had a horse with a broken styloid that they had saved. That healed. That healed. Correct. Correct. So he's a case study in Colorado here. And so I talked to the surgeon, we did, sur uh, we did uh, x-rays and said, um, no, he, he may need surgery. And I said, well, let's, let's let him decide. So we went very conservative. So I educated myself on stylohyoid. Um, I was shown the areas to hit with the, um, I have the blue light, uh, photonic the light, the probe. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I used. I hit all of his wellness, uh, wellness points every day and I hit that styloid and he also was a toxic and he had paralysis of the face. Mm -hmm. So we had to zip his eye. Um, it was starting to ulcerate. Mm. So I also hit the eye mm -hmm. with the light. And 11 weeks later, he came out of it. His face started to straighten out. Um, and at this point now, he's almost four, and I'm getting ready to start him. Awesome. Congratulations. Uh, thank you so much. That is exciting. This is Nicole, and this is my horse, Ligero. He is a left brain extrovert and delusion Arabian cross. He is normally very impulsive and um, very offended 
by small things. And today when I rode him, number one, I had an awesome Liberty session with him with 20 other horses and he stuck right by me and was very loose and calm. But otherwise, when I rode him, with those same horses out in a 10 acre pasture, um, bareback in a halter. I had an extremely calm and free flowing gait from him the entire time. And his head was down and he was relaxed and his eyes were soft and he did not feel impulsive or, um, Different than normal, right? Yeah, it was different than and normal. And this was after you had the session for with the red light session, right? Yes, this was after the red light session. And before the red light session, I could not even get him to keep his feet still around the, all the horses. And he was just so excitable and, and had to move his feet. And then after the red light session, he was able to stand for a long period of time while everybody else did their challenges and then be, was able to be ridden very calmly. Very cool. Well, I've known you guys since 2011 when I worked at the Pirelli Ranch, and I think you and Mr. Brian are just awesome. And the lights, I mean, they speak for themselves. Um, they definitely saved one of my horse's lives and the reason that he's still here today. So Tell me more about that. Uh, he was, I, he's 26 now. Uh, he was in his early 20s. He'd been raced till he was eight and then was a cross-country horse that wasn't very well taken care of. Um, long story short, he had a laundry list of issues going on. Yeah. And we had spent all the money that we could on vet care. He couldn't walk from his hay to his water, which was three steps. He just, he couldn't move. He was so uncomfortable. Um, and by doing his wellness points and his ulcer points, because he definitely had ulcers, um, he's now just a happy horse. He runs around. People don't know that he's 26 when they come and see him. I have a 14 year old left brain introvert who last year kicked out and got his right hind in the top opening of a quarter panel gate and um, we don't know how long he was there. We came back from lunch, took four of us to get him out. He was severely lame. I red lighted him both at the injury site, his wellness points and his top line for a month. And I am happy to say he has no residual complications. We are moving up in our levels program and he is awesome. And I truly believe my red light was the door, the, the piece of the missing puzzle in doing some massage and red lighting them and I was faithful to it and I am so happy. I have used it on humans, I've used it on my shoulder injury. Um, a friend of mine who's here, we are treating her shoulder injury with the red light and it's great. I highly recommend it. When we're looking at the carotid artery on a horse, we're referring to the area where the vein artery and nerve run up the side of the esophagus up to the neck itself. And I typically like to put it, you can either put it like a couple fingers below the jaw or I bring it down to where it's just in front of the shoulder in this area. 